Um, Amanda was born with spina bifida um, 34 years ago and we didn't know until she was actually born that she was going to have a disability. Um, we were told that she'd never walk, she'd never be able to feed herself, go to the toilet, anything. But she has reached a lot of milestones, so that was one, you know, plus. And as a baby, you know, she was just like any normal baby because she didn't have to do anything. And as she grew, you know, she was still in a pusher and a pram. It was only till she got a bit older and she went into a wheelchair. And um, people, a lot of people didn't even know, you know, that she had a disability. But um, she's changed over probably the last six years. She's bedridden a lot to what she was because um, she had respiratory failure going back in 2016. And that was a really tough time for not just Amanda, but for everybody in the family, you know. We, we had to move down to Melbourne for three months while she was in hospital. We stayed with our other daughter, and, but that is the main, <laughs> her main, yeah, spina bifida, which, you know, affects everyone different. Yeah. But she never could walk and she never will walk. So this year I was um, able to go and meet with the Johnson family because they had asked CFA for help in working on a fire escape plan. They realised that if anything happened in the house with regards to fire that they needed her to be able to escape. Her bedroom was at the back of the house and the ramps that she uses in her wheelchair um, are at the side of the house or at the front of the house. I first met the Johnsons through uh, the Community Safety Coordinator, Andy Arnold from District 23, where he contacted me and asked me if I'd go around there and with him and put up some smoke detectors. Um, was it an immense help to me? It was absolutely sensational. Um, at least I had an understanding of why we were doing this, um, why we were putting extra smoke detectors in, but actually getting to meet the Johnsons and actually seeing the layout out of the house was absolutely sensational. So if there is any incident that happens to that property, there's a notice that comes up on our pages that's saying there's a lady in that house with a disability and where she's located. It's not just go in and get Amanda, grab Amanda, because that can never happen. She's got to be hoist up with a hoist. So we've got to have the slings under and then a hoist. So we've been practicing how long it takes to get her up. Um, twice this week, one took us eight minutes and another one took us six. But we'll keep doing it a couple of times a week to see how we go by time. Um, with Amanda's wheelchair, we normally keep it out in the kitchen. Um, but now we're keeping it in Amanda's bedroom, um, bathroom so that that's already up there if anything happened during the night. We've only got to bring it out of the bathroom. As where before we'd have to come down to the kitchen and we might not be able to get the wheelchair and then we'd have no hope of getting her up. Home fire escape plans are a critical element of our work. At night time, if the fire happens at night time when it's dark, uh, how they're going to get out of the house, uh, the need to have two routes of escape from any room, and that can often present a difficulty if there's only one door and a window. The process with the CFA has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, since they first stepped into our house, they showed us a lot of things that we didn't know about the plans, the equipment we need for the house to, um, to help us be a lot safer. Um, and we just can't, can't fault it. It's just been 100%. Because she's in a um, hospital top of bed, and she's, to exit it out the house, we have to put her into a wheelchair. Uh, we want to take out her windows. She's got big bay windows. We're going to take the windows out and knock the walls out and put a exit there with a sliding door with a window and a ramp to run down beside the house. We never had a fire plan. We didn't even think that we needed one. Now we've got that in place. Oh, we've learned a lot, yeah, since we've um, got the CFA on board. Um, things that we just took for granted because everyone thinks a fire will never happen to them and we'll just keep trying to improve it.
we'll get guided by the CFA and that's what we'll do.